Carolyn Gussoff has the story. It hasn't seen the light of day in 11 years. Now divers with the intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum want to lift it from the sandy floor of Smithtown Bay, where it's been slumbering 40 feet below the water. It is the SUNY Lab, a 10-ton version of this model built by State University engineering students. In 1977, it was submerged as an underwater research habitat. For years, it was researchers' window on marine life in the sound. To have a uh scientists actually underwater studying the, the environment and, and watching the gradual demise of the sound and hopefully coming up with solutions. Now intrepid divers and local volunteers will see to it that it serves a new purpose, a learning tool for posterity, a permanent exhibit at the floating museum. Just grab the crane, hook, hook your right in, go They'll be retrieving the last underwater habitat built in the U.S., a lab where divers rested and researched while Smithtown built its artificial reef in the late 70s. Steve Ressler logged 600 hours in the tiny capsule a decade ago. It's nice to see it coming back up again. It's a bit sad at the same time. Uh, it's part of the reef now. Uh, there are fish living inside of it. Uh, but it brings back good feelings to see, to see it being put to some use. Money ran out and the underwater lab closed in 1982. Those who built it never imagined it would be resurrected. <laughs> Finally, divers located the site and lifted the lab, encrusted with 11 years of marine growth. We saw it in the winter, uh, but it's really incredible to see this thing in the sunlight and all the wonderful help we've had from everyone. It's, it couldn't be better. I don't have to say it. Look at the smile on my face. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I never thought I'd see it come out like this. You may not recognize it if you go to see it at the Intrepid Museum. It will be restored to its original state. Ressler says he would recognize it in any condition. What was a piece of his life is now a piece of history. In Smithtown Bay, Carolyn Gussoff, News 12, Long Island. That is wild. History. Yeah. You might wind up like that, Roberto, if you don't watch yourself with...